All right, guys, pulling into check traps. I have not touched this set since I had uh, made it about two weeks ago or so. Yes, got this nice guy out here. We'll get the truck parked and get him taken care of. All right, guys, well, I made these sets. I just checked, it's been 13 days. So the set that the coyotes caught in right there was exactly like this. It's just kind of a walk through. I got a punch hole and each tuft of grass traps right in the middle. So I, whenever I made this set, I uh, used my homemade bait and lure and uh, apparently it holds up for two weeks at least. I haven't even touched the set. I've literally just been driving by it and uh yeah finally connected on a coyote guys that's awesome that is awesome we're gonna go ahead and get this one taken care of and then we'll just remake this set whenever we come back through guys this is a set we had something caught in the other day i remade it came back through yesterday it was dug out looks like we got our second customer of today that is awesome guys that almost looks like that could be the one that we had caught i could see he's got a little damage on the on his paw there so that is uh I remember this set. This was the first one we made um, with the Apex Predator bait, the Comanche pudding, and Colton's urine. That's the second coyote for today. That's awesome, guys. The first one was a female. She was in heat. And then uh, this guy here looks like he could be a male. Get a picture of him. Nice fur on him, though. Second coyote of this morning guys. That's awesome. We got another set right there. It looks like it's still set Yep, we're gonna get this guy taken care of and then we'll get on down the line Awesome guys put a couple dog proofs here too. There ain't nothing going on here It don't even look like anything's really came through here since that day Yep, still sitting there like we left it Absolutely no fresh tracks in the sand by it I thought about taking this whole setup the trap and the drag and taking it down creek I found a really good crossing. Um, I still might do that I know I'm gonna kick myself in the ass for not doing it if I don't I'm just kind of losing faith in that set We've got another dog proof over here nothing in it all right so should i take this set with me and go set it down there huh i don't think it would be a bad idea i mean I, honestly guys i i'm not seeing any fresh tracks through here fresh deer tracks we're not out here trying to catch deer Nothing closer to the water's edge. There's some mink tracks. Be cool to see a big old arrowhead laying there. All right, should we leave it or take it? We might as well let it hunt, right? It's here. I'd really like to snag an otter in it if they come back through. That's the whole reason why I made that set. So we'll leave it. We'll hop on the wheeler and head on to the next ones. All right, guys. Looks like we caught us a coyote here in the uh, step down dirt hole. 
this is just a little pocket of this uh, field where it comes to this corner the creek is running right here and I seen a lot of coyote sign right here when I come out to set so I put the step down dirt hole here and we got a little walkthrough set there finally connected he's kind of shy keeps wanting to hide so yep we'll get this guy taken care of I don't know if there's gonna be any remaking of this set but <laughs> give me that all right we'll get him taken care of and get on down the line God, these guys are going to have the best turkey hunting out here in the next few years with the amount of grinners I've been taking out of here. I, I get it guys, you gotta take the trash out first. This spot has not been trapped in God knows how long. And uh, man, the amount of possums, I wish I really would have kept count on how many possums we've caught because uh it's definitely more than coyotes but that's what we're out here we're here to help the turkey and the deer and getting rid of these things will definitely help them turkey out so this was just that blind set that we made um i'm pretty sure i videoed it there's a lot of coyote tracks which you can barely see them now but there's a lot of coyote tracks cutting right through there instead of walking around they're cutting coming up here cutting right through there so get this guy taken care of and head on down the line oh man guys our blind set was close got a coyote track right there our trap should be right in here yep uh, well that was a close one they'll be back okay well this is the set where we had a uh, coyote number 50 caught the other day and i guess this guy's trying to identify as a coyote you're a mean little sucker huh let's see what that mouth do nothing he won't even bite the stick It reminds me of how them old boys down in the south pose them gators whenever they catch a big old alligator. Hold that mouth open. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this guy taken care of, remake the set, and head on down. Uh, from the looks at it when I was in the bottom, it almost looked like we had another coyote caught up top up here. So we'll see. All right, guys. Well, here's where I thought we had one caught up. When I was down there by the creek, I was looking up here. I can't help myself but to look ahead. Um, I thought I had one caught up here. That's not the case. All right, guys. Uh, same thing as yesterday. Got another possum here. I almost didn't even remake this set, but I figure I might as well. Um, this is a spot where we got a dog proof there, a dog proof here. And they keep getting in this set. But see, this is one of the reasons why I was going to pull it, guys. Um, whenever I made this set, it was really hard to get an anchor in the ground. So when I drove this thing down in the ground, it finally held. But I've got about uh, five, six inches, about five inches of it up out of the ground. And I do not like that. Um, the only reason I did reset it is because when I tried to pull it up, I couldn't get it out of there, guys. It is in there. So I decided to go ahead and remake the set and uh, yeah, got us another got us another possum. Um, I don't mind taking these things out. I really wish they'd get caught in my dog proofs, but it is what it is, guys. Um, we're at least helping the turkeys out out here. So, yep, we're going to get this guy taken care of, try to get it remade again, and uh, head on out.
All right guys, just pulling up to our last stop for today. Um, having a great day so far. Got three coyotes. Um, just got off the phone with my buddy Steve. I just pulled up to the spot and ran down there because I seen my 330 was gone. We got another otter guys. That makes number four for the season. I've been so close to pulling this trap so many times because it's been about two or three weeks I'd say at least a good two, two and a half weeks since we caught that last otter here and those beavers and nothing. Um, that's the thing with otters, guys. You have got to wait. You know, you have got to wait for them to come back through. But anyway, we got a blind set number 11 down there. Mink cubby, nothing in it. I'm probably not even going to run the mink cubbies next year. I've had absolutely zero luck with them. Um, we got a blind number 11 here on this trail i was hoping there'd be another otter here but uh yep i ran down here and look at this guy's number four otter for the year um now i would assume that this was one of the ones that was running with the last one that i caught um i'm positive there was at least three of them that were running up around here and uh, we got two so far but yeah we just had the 330 down here in the water and we got our fourth otter of the season, baby. Let's go. Yes. How cool is that? Not a big one. It's a male, a little male this time. The last couple I've caught were females. So yeah, we got us an otter, guys. That's so cool. Just a 330 set in this channel here. When we first set the trap, there's a real deep hole going under this old dam here that uh, I'm guessing it was just the otter because the hole was super small. They were uh, That's how they were getting in and out of the pond. They were keeping that hole open and they were able to swim under the ice. You know, when this was all iced over, they were able to swim under it and get out into the pond. So, yep. We uh, put a 330 there in the channel. That's the second otter out of this hole. But yeah, guys, uh, patience. You gotta wait, guys. There were so many times I about pulled this trap. As you can see, it's so easy to get to. Um, I couldn't bring myself. I, you know, I can catch one more otter. Here in Illinois, you can catch five otter a season. I have never done that. Um, this is actually the most otters I've ever caught. So we'll go ahead and get this 330 set. Maybe. And uh, we'll probably set it back in there. I plan on pulling all my traps this weekend and just being done with the trapping season. We hit our goal on coyotes, uh, which we actually picked up a few more this morning. So we're doing good there. Yeah, guys, just I'm having the best trapping season. I made another great trapping buddy, Steve. I've known about him for a while and talked to him on the Facebook and stuff like that, but uh, really great guy, guys, and that's part of it, you know, part of trapping. Just get out, have fun, make some friends, teach some people. All right. Get our otter out of here, boys. Yeah. That's so cool. There he is. There he is. Good size. He ain't small, but he ain't huge. I'd like to wash him off a little bit here. Kind of muddy. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's so cool, guys. These are such cool critters. These river otter. I mean, I know they're, they, they've got a lot of fish eating up out of this pond, I'm sure, but. There we go. Yes. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna get this reset in here. And then I got a couple coyote traps around back to check yet. Stick with us.